Okay, I'm Dennis Hudson at OrangeQuant.com and I'm back with you. This time uh, this is Hurricane 9 and we're going to examine the spy charts using from the FLIR 2 ebook. We're going to be using mainly um, synthetic trend lines and another little special indicator that's not included there. Uh, and we're going to be looking at the coming crash. And before I get too far along, I had to redo this video. Um, in the next video, Hurricane 10, I say come back uh, because I thought we were short here. You don't have to come back because that won't happen this time. And again, the beauty of using the uh, tools in the FLIR 2 ebook is I don't worry. You know, I can make my trades and just sit there and not worry because I have the the technique and I have a confirming indicator. So I can sleep nights and that that's the real advantage of FLIR 2. Alright, I guess that logo is now gone. Let's uh, bring up the uh, SPY yearly chart. And the key thing to notice here, look, these are synthetic trend lines you're looking at. The key thing to notice is that the way they're arranged, uh, the, the common feature in the various time frames is that price is bound. It's, it's bumping into uh, resistance for each of the time frames we're talking about, whether it's yearly, quarterly, or monthly in this video. And in the next video we'll do is, is the weekly. All four of them, uh, it's bumping into the resistance of these synthetic trend lines. Take a look. On the yearly, we're looking at the SPY gradually coming down, or maybe rapidly coming down, who knows, in this direction. Uh, whether it breaks through the blue or the yellow, uh, doesn't matter. It still has to follow or oscillate around these and come down until um, there's this crossing point here or an inflection area. Uh, and that would be about the year 2012, sometime during 2012. I haven't really nailed the exact date down, but that looks like the overall trend. Something else on this chart I'd like to show you. Um, and oh, by the way, these uh, these red synthetic trend lines are old and venerable uh, synthetics. If price dips down and manages to break through uh, the blue and yellow ones before 2012, it's going to start following uh, this, this red trend line down here. Let me show you something else about this chart. Uh, just You see that big M that it's formed? Uh, this is, uh, th that's what technical analysts call it, a big M. It's like this. It's here, there's the middle of it, as that right upper shoulder and then it comes down like that. Now what this means is because it dipped down, see right, uh, well actually this whole area here, it dipped down below the base of the M or the middle of the M is what I'm talking about. It dipped below this point. What that generally means is a continuation downward and uh, you, you, you see it's trying to fight its way up but it's bumping into that resistance so we can expect on the yearly we're going to see a trend downwards. Let's look at the quarterly and in, oh gosh let me get back to the yearly, this is something I, I keep forgetting to mention um, alright let's, you know I had a special indicator I was using there it is and you can see on the yearly Actually, if you look down here where I'm circling, um, that suggests it could be going back up for the year, so which means it's going to bump into um, that uh, the resistance up there. Okay, it's suggesting it could. On the other hand, it hasn't really fully completed its downward cycle. You can see how how low it can go from there. Um, but just a word to the wise: it can move up some more. Now on the quarterly we have almost an identical uh, picture in, with this resistance from the synthetics and some of the synthetics are older and some are newer. Um, I put all of them on there just to give the flavor of how strong that resistance is. 
and you can see uh, it, it's going to have a tough time getting getting through that resistance. The only way that it can actually get through it would be for a massive increase in manufacturing output, and I hate I don't even want to mention the word of what it would take uh, to break through like that to have that kind of sudden increase in manufacturing output. Let's let's hope uh, that we don't see anything like that happen in the world. Um, so you've got all that resistance from the synthetics and uh, out here this is the quarterly so this area out here uh, where they, they start kind of intersecting. Uh, let me give you a date for that. Okay, that uh, region would make it about the end of the second quarter of 2011. I didn't want to crowd this with too much data and dates and so on. So about the end of the second, about, uh, about June or July of 2011, uh, there's an inflection, and that could provide a sort of bounce. Um, Short-lived, I would think. And again, we still have that very threatening uh, red, trend, red synthetic trend line down at the bottom, if it happens to dip down through those blue and through the blue and yellows. And on the quarterly we also have the telltale big M again. See that big M there? Same deal. And it's fighting to come back up? Same deal. It has to come down, it's going to follow these on down. Now on the monthly I just noted a couple of inflection points. Um, uh, one at uh, June, sometime during June of this this year, and the other during November of this year. And I did pick up something which I haven't shown you on the yearly chart. Uh, back down around uh, late November is a major inflection. Just a heads up, but you'll notice again that on the monthly, uh, what's the ceiling here for just this month alone is about 119, right across here like this. And uh, if it gets there, I mean, it could start riding this upper blue uh, synthetic trend line, but it still can't get past 133, all right? And because if you read this in the context of the quarterly, you can see it can't get past 126, really. Uh, did I say 133? One, well, anyway, whatever it is, that uh, quarterly governs the monthly. Now let's look below at the special indicator. Uh, that shows room to grow and go up, but the trend of that is southbound, and I don't think it's going to be able to uh, recover from that. Did I show on the quarterly that uh, that lower special indicator? Okay, it's topped out. I did not show it. It has topped out, and what we should expect now is uh, a very serious dive back downwards, okay? Alright, in the next video we will cover the uh, weekly, actually I've already done the next video, uh, and again I'll mention in there that you uh, should come back to this video, you don't need to do that because uh, we are done as of now, I'm Dennis Hudson at orangeclant.com, and you want to run get that FLIR 2 ebook, I tell you it, it is peace of mind when you start using this stuff. Alright, thanks again, uh, we'll see you in uh, Hurricane 10 coming up.